Welcome back. Joining me now, one of my dear friends, Tony Sane. Tony, we always love having you in the house. You have your Gala for Goals coming up tomorrow, your sixth annual. Congrats to you on that. You do so much for the community. Can you tell everyone what your main goal is this year? You have so many soccer and youth initiatives that you raise money for, and you're an ambassador for soccer. What is the main thing that you're celebrating tomorrow night? Well, we're celebrating all of our successes. Um, we moved into a new community center um, in the east side of St. Paul. So that's been a big jump for us, and we need to raise funds. Also, we're expanding our program into the Minneapolis Public Schools, so that's a that's a big big endeavor. And obviously, we want to hold uh, 100 summer camps for 10,000 kids this summer, and they're all free. So, we we need some money to support the support it. They're all free, everyone. That's the main goal. If you have kids that want to learn soccer or your neighbors that want it, how important is it? And many camps around this country they do charge, and you still have not. Well, we. You know, we use the camps, uh, part of our mission is to unite diverse communities, so we believe in building them from within, but also connecting different communities. Um, and, you know, so we hope that the kids like soccer in the summer, and then once they come into high school, we have a catch, and then we can tie it to after school programs and get more academic success. I know you're very humble. You go to Haiti. You also have a program where people can bring their sneakers in and, and donate. When you go to Haiti and you bring soccer and America, basically you're an ambassador for that to these kids, what is the number one thing that you see in their eyes? Um, you know, once we start playing with the kids, they, they see hope. And that's the one thing that I see and, and I talk about a lot is kids all over the world, you know, there's hope in their eyes and, and they just want to smile and have fun. And I, it keeps you young, and I, I think that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, because um, I, I get up every morning, and I know I got a lot of stuff to do, and um, I go to bed smiling because I get to work with children all day. Well, the main tickets for the dinner are sold out. That's how successful this is. But there are still $45 ones. And if you can't make it to the dinner and you want to donate, check out the sanefoundation.org. That should be right there on the bottom of your screen right there. SaneFoundation.org, and you can donate to them as well. We'll be right back with Tony Sane. Don't go away. Thanks. One. <coughs> We are finishing up with Tony Sane, his gala for goals tomorrow. And Tony, one of the main things that you and I were just talking about is it is about soccer, but it's about education. You want to mesh the two and get people of color also involved. So you're doing so much for the community. Can you speak more to that, how that's near and dear to you? Well, soccer is just the hook. Mm -hmm. I mean, ultimately, we want to empower kids through education because it is the strongest tool anybody can have. Um, so we really want to be in the schools, and we, we not only want to um, support young men and women uh, to to graduate, but we have started now producing a pipeline of of youth workers of color that that go into education and youth work uh, because we think there's a huge shortage, and I think uh, the next generation needs to be taught also by people that look like them and talk like them and walk like them. I think one of the biggest compliments <coughs> I of, ever hear about you is he embraces all cultures. You learn all cultures. All the kids love that about you. Do you get? Do you kind of, you know, get the warm fuzzies when you hear people say, that's what Tony is about? Well, you know, we, we do try to have an inclusive environment. You know, my dad was from Gambia and, you know, Muslim and my mom was Catholic and I was raised Greek Orthodox. So um, I've been all over the world. Um, but really trying to provide an inclusive environment is key. In the beginning when I started the foundation, I did solely anti-racism work. And it, so we, we changed course, but we really have that culture of inclusivity uh, behind everything we do. Well, I know here in the Twin Cities, everyone is proud to be able to share you with the world, the ambassador of soccer, but also for youth and helping people. So for the last, we're going to put up a full screen. If you're interested in going tomorrow for the tickets that are available, Gal for Goals, it's at St. Paul's River Center. You're moving on up there, Tony. It's tomorrow night. Please, if you can't go, log on to the sanefoundation.org, and if so, choose to give. Tony, thanks so much for joining us again. Thank you. Good luck and congrats. Six pleasure. years and going strong. It's been going, flying by. Going strong. We're still both 28. We'll see you again next time, everyone. Have a good one. 27. You're only